Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to the Dragon Shard. Today it is time to play a hero that I haven't actually played all too much in general. I've been playing different kinds of support heroes, in particular I love playing my Uther. However, it is time, and also Brightwing by the way, oh my god, I almost forgot here, we can't do that, no. But it is time to play the one and only Rhaegar. Now Rhaegar recently got some massive changes, and in this video, I'm gonna try and explain those changes a little bit, but in general, I'm just gonna try and play a fun game here, and keep the team alive. Now, one of the main things that we're gonna go and work on is like general support type talent. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Colossal Totem, that I actually already really did like picking prior to this whole shenanigans and the changes that they've made, but anyway. So the main thing that they have changed up, is going to be the fact that Rhaegar, while he's definitely still a support and like a primary healer, or like primary speaking a healer, he's now actually considered a little bit more of like a damage dealer with like heavy support type talents as well. So one of the things that got added right there is the Varel Lunge. And the Varel Lunge is great because basically what that used to be like is uh, a talent at level 13. And right now it's just built into your, uh, your default mount. So as far as the talents go that I got, and by the way, apparently we're not actually soaking. There we go. <laughs> as far as the talents go that we got um first off i got a chain heal which is basically a heal that i put on a single target and then it changed to a bunch of other healers as well or a bunch of other targets as well and i also have um my w ability which is called lightning shield now mind you it doesn't actually shield until level 13 and we may actually go for that talent but it doesn't actually shield other than the name might imply and then we also have the earth bind totem which actually also doesn't bind anyone oh my god i could have actually had that dude Get him, Loco. Oh, got him. Good. Um, so, um, we also have the... Um, what was I saying? I got I got completely distracted. Right. The Earthbound Totem. It slows down enemies rather than it actually, like, you know, um, completely uh, demolishing the amount of, uh, you know, maneuverability that they have. It's just going to simply do a little bit of slowing to them as well, which is nice. Now, I'm going to be focusing on a pretty big variety of talents. And so far, I'm not actually in the lane. I'm going to start moving towards the top here. One of the main things to note, though, is that I actually uh, don't have a mount like all the other heroes got. I do have this, uh, this wolf form that I can activate constantly. And I can activate it in the middle of combat as well, which is the main reason why you would want to go ahead and, you know, use that. Now, I'm going to try and contest the shrine up top here. But in general, like, the changes that they've made is just all of a sudden skyrocketing the amount of uh, win rates that you will have on this hero. Now, it's not like he's all of a sudden, like, the strongest hero in the game, uh, which he was just a couple days ago. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Feral Heart here, because we're still always suffering from the amount of sustain um, as far as, like, you know, the regeneration uh, goes. Uh, but he used to be extremely, extremely powerful. Right now, he did get nerfed a little, which will make him, um, you know, less powerful than he was... Alright, no, I'm getting out of there. I am getting out of there. No reason for me to stick around. I'm just simply gonna back up. But, um, yeah, they nerfed him a couple days ago because the community was widely complaining and so were the win rates. I believe he's, like, skyrocketed up to, like, 65% or something uh, in win rates in Hero League, which is pretty insane. All of a sudden, like, surpassing heroes like Tyrande and whatnot. Um, and that's just because they, uh, they buffed a bunch of his talents and changed up a bunch of the things. Now... They did nerf a couple of the talents, which most likely, or like a, a bunch of the things, that, which which most likely makes him like a... No, 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 no. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out, my man. You don't want to be there. Trust me. Oh, man. He's just going for it. Suddenly, that dude just managed to grab the uh, Dragonite. But he's now still, I would say, probably like top three support. Top three support is probably fair enough. Now, the Lost Viking player definitely is losing a lot of things, which isn't all that great for us. I can't heal tower, sadly, either. Alright. Uh, I'm always targeting myself, by the way, real quickly. I see that comment pop up all the time. How do you do it? You basically hold down Alt when you uh, hit your cooldown. Sadly, I didn't have a heal available right there for our beloved Johanna, so I couldn't quite get her. Once again, being kicked out there. I'll end up using that ability on myself. Oh god, oh god, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Good. So sadly, um... There is still a heck of a lot of damage do being done right now by the enemies, which isn't helping us out all too much either. We should be soaking the lanes though, which is good. Like right now the bottom lane is being picked by one of the Vikings, which actually helps us out a ton. Like it's grabbing some extra experience, but... Oh, once again, the control right there of the Lost Viking player definitely is not as great as we would like it to. By the way, um, the, um, the W ability that I got... I didn't actually explain quite yet what that does. I'm gonna go ahead and click Blood and Thunder here. We'll go over what that does in just a second. Um... But um, the um, the W ability I basically apply to a target and it like just sort of damage around that target. So it, it's basically um, 
my god, the Lost Viking players. <laughs> it's always a risky, risky business, to say the least. Anyways, the last two talents that I ended up picking... Oh god, Loco, don't die. The last two talents that I ended up picking are actually... Um, first off, the Varel Heart here at level 4, which basically increases the amount of regeneration that I have while I'm in ghost form, or like in wolf form, which helps out a lot with the sustain. And I also picked up the Blood and Thunder, which will reduce the cooldown of my basic skills, so my Q, W, and E abilities uh, will get a little bit of reduction. My god, man! <laughs> Why are you dying so much, my man? It's not ideal. It's not ideal. They're actually a full level up on us right now. I'm gonna be heading down to the bottom lane because there's a heck of a lot of pressure going on here. Once again, though, Oh, alright. I'm gonna give that uh, that slow to this enemy. I also gave the extra little bit of um, damage there. And come on. Come on. Good job. Good, good job. Now, there's one other nerd over here somewhere. Don't know exactly where that ended up being, but that was pretty good. Now, obviously, Heroes of the Storm is always a game where uh, things can easily change up, right? Things can still definitely go in our favor. I secretly hope that the, uh, the Lost Viking player will start to go ahead and use the... Um, Use the, um, you know, Vikings together, because he's probably going to be a little bit better at controlling the bunch after this. Especially level 10, that becomes really useful, because he has uh, some good ultimates at that point. But um, in general, like, I'm basically trying to go back into wolf form constantly, because I know that's going to be regenerating a bunch of my things. And then it also helps me out um, to get some extra cooldown reduction as soon as I do it while we're actually in combat. So I am spending some of my uh, some of my uh, resources here. I'll go ahead and actually do a little bit of healing as well. Actually, interesting overpower right there. I'm immediately gonna use my ghost form once again and heal myself up. So very nice, very nice. Gonna go ahead and still pick the ancestral healing. I could just simply use it on myself here if I wanted to, but uh, we'll just stay smart here. We'll stay smart and um, in the bottom line? I'm not sure where we'll stay. I'm gonna be making sure that I at least walk with my teammates. Oh no, we gotta be careful here. We gotta be careful. Don't die, please. I got my ancestral healing, but sadly that's not gonna be, you know, ready to go. Guys, I need some help here. I don't think we're gonna be able to pull this off, though. I don't do enough damage to take on two heroes on my own. And sadly, that is immediately gonna trigger their, you know, dragon to be taken. Nice little move here by the false that actually. Immediately flying to the middle part of the map. I'm gonna go ahead and try and stop him from, uh, you know, from taking it. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, here we go. Lost Vikings are being used. This is the ultimate of the Lost Vikings. It's very nice. Ooh, get out of there, Loco. Still have my Ancestral Healing. Good to go. Don't really want to use it randomly, though. Mm, I'm actually going to end up using it here on my own. Just because I am super low, and the cooldown of it is going to be reset here anyway. So that's pretty good. We did just manage to pick off two of the kills in the middle part of the map, which actually evened up the score quite a bunch. Gonna go ahead here and activate the, the lightning shield on my own and just sort of start clearing up this wave, because alone I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to pick off this, uh, this, uh, Greymane. Although actually, he's on low health. I mean, I've read stories about, uh, you know, uh, Rhaegar immediately taking out heroes such as, for example, Zagara in a one-on-one -on -one fashion. Which doesn't actually happen all that often normally. But yeah, you can see, like, I'm very versatile. The Feral Lunch Edition actually makes it super good to focus on the, the different talents as well that, like, are, are your ghost form and your wolf form, right? It helps out so much. The damage that you get out of it is honestly pretty insane. Now, it looks like, once again, I'm gonna have to make sure that I, you know, stop them from taking this thing. I'm not quite in a position where I can really go towards the top lane here, because that means they will just take out the, um, you know, they take the objective. So far, so good, though. I'm just gonna keep bouncing away at the dude, and we did just manage to capture the top one. Okay. Gonna go ahead here, and... Like, here's the, sh here's the thing, right? I can go for the Earth Shield. Earth Shield is really good, because it now gives them basically, like, an extra shield, based on their amount of health. Well, which right there actually wasn't the sickest target for it. But, oh my god, get him! Nice use, actually, of the Gusto, not gonna lie. That was good. That was well done. Oh, huh. But um, you can also go for the Tidal Waves, which just basically increases uh, or like reduces the cooldown of your Q ability in combination with the Feral Lunge talent. Or not the Feral Lunge, what's it called? The Blood and Thunder talent, it just become a really like big force to be reckoned with. And we have actually managed to clean up the... Oh god. No! 
Oh, man! I had my ancestral healing ready to go. I was trying to use it, but sadly she was running away from me, thinking she was gonna be safe in that location. Gotta go ahead and slow down Thrall here. Or not Thrall. That's not Thrall. Well, I guess we'll just keep fighting, right? <laughs> uh, that is Arthas. She may be aware. Did get the ancestral healing off right there. Gonna have to make sure I get out though. Because I am super duper low. Gonna drink from the uh, from the fountain real quick. Make sure I get a little bit more, you know, health up here. While obviously staying in the wolf form. And so far, we're actually not really capturing this. But we're also not losing the dragon, right? So this is good for us. I'm gonna actually walk around here. Could potentially get a nice, nice slow. Very good. Oh, man. That was a close one. I'll go ahead right here and grab the, uh, the, the, the shrine at the top. Just to make sure we... Uh, you know, don't lose the dragon in the middle part of the map. It does become like a big, big force to be reckoned with so far. Li Ming actually also was ready to defend, but better be safe than sorry. Slowing him down. Oh my god, once again, beautiful usage right there of the mighty gust. Very well done. Well, I guess we'll take out that tower then. I don't really want to be leaving this area though. Once again, I can go for a sick slow. Put that, uh, that on Johanna. Jump in. And good job. Very, very well done here by the team. Working together super nicely. Gotta be careful though, Sylvanas. My ultimate isn't on cool or is on cooldown right now, so I can't quite do enough damage here. Bottom is actually being taken. So I'm gonna head towards the middle part of the map here. I don't know if the Lost Vikings are planning on taking it, but. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Alright then. I'll go ahead here and pick the Earth Grasp Totem, making it even better. Oh man, oh man, the sick fights here. Good, good job, boys! Very well done, get him! That, die, that dude is dead. Alright, whoever wants it can take it. I'm gonna go ahead and back up here. Good job, that was very well done there. I'm gonna go back here and grab some extra healing and a little bit of mana. Make sure that we obviously are able to cast the more... The more casts on the uh, on the allies. Uh, but so far, like, you can see, like, even though I'm doing quite a bit of healing here and I'm doing more than a Lily, it feels like you're doing a little bit less healing than with the previous set of talents. And while I definitely may be wrong by saying that, um, it's, it's... <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> that lost Viking player just keep losing his things. Uh, while I definitely may be wrong, and you're actually doing more healing, it feels like at least you're a lot more... You're a lot more, like, impactful in the game, because I'm actually, like, actively slowing people, I'm not just fucking purely into healing, I'm providing shields for the team, I'm making sure that everyone stays alive, and I'm doing different kinds of things now, and I'm actually, on top of that, dealing a pretty substantial amount of, you know, healing. Now, this is a bad position for me to be in, don't really want to be here, I'll go ahead and put down that Earth by Totem, get out of here if I can. Okay, that is a Johanna in there, so, should be alright. Okay. Good. Still have my ancestral healing ready to go as well, so... Hey, what are you doing here, sir? Activating the ancestral healing on myself. Picking off that Regar. Providing more heals for the team, at least if I can. And I'm gonna try and pick off this hero here instead. Which should be okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Loco, get out! <laughs> I tried getting inside of my mount form there, or into my mount form, but I didn't quite get that. That was real unfortunate. That was a little bit messy. Um, we did get some pushing done right there at the top lane by the Sylvanas player. I tried my very best to be in the best position I could be, but I was forced to use the Ancestral Healing right there on my own, which sadly didn't quite help us uh, out very much, and we may actually lose a fort because of it on top of a tower. So, that was actually kind of unfortunate here. Quite literally, unfortunate. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'll see myself out. Ooh, nice uh, wailing arrow, but it's not gonna scare them off, at least not for the moment. That Diablo player, though, super low once again, activating his ultimate, but the mighty gust once more forcing us backwards. So good usage so far by those teams. Um, looks like actually it's going to be the, uh, the, the, the gray main player here in the bottom lane. In his, uh, in his uh, human form, trying to do damage here, and it is going to be able to pick off that fort. <gasps> wow, sick move here, actually, by the Sylvanas player once again. That was super close. Anyways, I'm going to just be simply moving back towards where my teammates are. Obviously, we don't want to go down randomly again, but we are about to level up right now, and we're in a good spot here. We managed to push back all of their forts. We still got two of our forts uh, up as well, which means that, in general, we're good. Now, you don't want to be there, though, sir. 
you don't really want to be there. Obviously, you're Johanna, and I know you give zero fucks about anything, but... I guess I'll go ahead and help out Li Ming. Toss her a little heal. Okay, let's grab this, uh, this, uh, shrine. Okay, good. That's gonna be pushing forward quite aggressively. I'm gonna go ahead here and pick the Rewind. I like Rewind. It gives me more times to cast. I can cast more often, means I can heal more, right? I don't think we really want to be pushing here, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of this move here, but I guess, um, I guess as long as we have the top lane under contest, I'm gonna be heading over there. Yeah, this is, this is kind of messy. Kind of a messy fight here. We do have, once again, the pirate boat ready to go. Shooting away a whole lot of things. I am moving over here. I'm almost there. Gonna go ahead and earth by totem immediately to get the kill on that thing, which is nice. I guess I'll toss in a heal as well while I can, just to start triggering that cooldown. You can see, like, the two-second cooldown is adding on real quick. Alright, let me head towards the middle part of the map. The, uh, the top will be taken right here by the Vikings, which is great. Don't know who is gonna be taking the, uh, the, the dragon, but I guess if I get the option to, I'll go ahead and unleash the terror. Alright, boys, here we go. Get out of there, boys. Or right, get out of there, dude. I don't want you in here. Let's start taking away a bunch of these towers. We do a stupid amount of damage right now. At this point, at level 21, we start doing a ton of damage to these towers, usually past level 20 or so. I believe it's like actually depending on the amount of time that you're in the game, but. <clears throat> you can do a stupid amount of damage with the, with the dragon. Although they're actually targeting me down very efficiently as well. Gotta get out. Don't really want to sacrifice myself. Sylvanas is coming in right now. The Vikings are in the top lane. <clears throat> I do ideally want to start smacking away here at the fort. Or at the, uh, at the keep. Oh man. The team is needing healing, boys. Okay. Kick you away. Stop hitting my friends. And here we go. Alright. Didn't quite get the overpower there. He's most likely gonna get it right now though. Which is kind of unfortunate for me. Once again, forced to use this on my own. Gonna be healing up my ally there. Slowing them down once again. And getting out of trouble if we can make that work at all. Not a big fan of this. Just leave, just leave, just leave. Jave, leave, boys! Leave, 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 leave! You can't, you can't stay in there! He does luckily go for the good talent there at level 20. Whew! That Falstead hammer was so close. And actually, Artis ends up falling there, interestingly enough. <laughs> Don't exactly know what happened there, but... Nice. Alright. That was a close one. We had to pop all the uh, all the cooldowns there in order to actually get that, uh, that fight in our favor, at least somewhat. Didn't quite get enough damage done there, but the Vikings were pushing the top lane in. Which killed all the towers there, and in the meantime, we also had a camp in the bottom lane, at least prior boot to that. Um, that was cleaning up a lot of the, uh, a lot of the extra towers there, and like the wall and the, the, you know, the walls and whatnot as well, like the gate. All the annoyingness. So right now the, uh, the things are exposed. That's pretty good. Gotta be careful though. You don't really want to be there, Johanna. Not a big fan of this super aggressive play, but so far so good. Stay together. S5. If we can. I'll put a smiley face in there to know that I'm not like being a dick. Let's go to the middle part of the lane then, maybe? <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, stay together at 7. This is good. I love this maneuvering here. They're definitely over there, yeah. Anyone here? There we go. Beautiful moves here by the team. Oh my god. Messy, 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 but working out. And there the Li Ming starts chaining her abilities. Which is super good for us. I think I've only been using the uh, the abilities on my own, haven't I? All right. <clears throat> Fine then. I'll go to the top lane. I'm not really one to uh, to fight on one-on-one -on -one scenarios. Although it may actually not be too ter terrible. It's actually 
It's actually one of the Vikings going to the top lane right now. I'll try and take this, if we can. I mean, if we can, I will take this right now. I don't know if Falstead is going to be flying anytime soon, but I'll go ahead and try and capture this dragon. Which is fine by me. Okay, good. Let's go, boys. There's a lot of time right now on this thing, though, so I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to just wait for my teammates here. <clears throat> False that or uh, rather, Tarande is not currently up, so that's a little unfortunate for us. Those guys will burn to death. I'll start hacking away at this tower. If they take the middle lane, that's fine by me. Not too worried about that. Also, not too worried about Lily. But I'll join them in the middle lane instead. It's also definitely worth getting in a couple shots here and there, if we can. Huge fight once again, though. I'm gonna try and kick this dude out of there. I will start kicking away here at the towers, at the keep. One keep down. Well, almost. See if we can get the second one here, too. There we go. You can see, though, like that damage I do to towers right now is ridiculous. Absolutely stupid amounts of damage, right? That's great. Good. I can die here, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna start hitting the core. And hitting as many of the allies with heals as possible. And here we go. Gonna start slamming away at the core, dealing maximum amounts of damage to it. Gotta activate my rewind just in case, because there's a big chance we're gonna be able to finish off the game here. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I think, I think you guys enjoyed watching this. Oh, 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 there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this game. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.